Hi James Clements from Project Plan Online. Over the next couple of weeks I'm going to run through the nine knowledge areas of the project management body of knowledge. I'm going to run through integration, time, cost, risk, all those type of things and just run you through a couple of basic steps on each of those knowledge areas and give you some tips along the way of what I think are the, are the most important parts. So firstly, one of the more difficult and uh, harder to understand knowledge areas is integration. Now integration, you know, I'll keep it simple, really is about how the project uh, integrates with the organization, that project that is a, an entity unto itself, how does that interact with the organization? Because really you want those things to be working side by side, but we know that a project is a, a temporary endeavor. So what you need to do is make sure that that you are using as many of those processes that the organization has within your project. Because I've seen a lot of projects where they start to write you know, HR policies, they start to write um, you know, review and approval policies and so forth, but you don't need to do that. The, the organization generally has those. You should only be writing uh, plans and policies, processes and procedures for your project if your project has got something very different about it and needs to have that written. So. So as part of your project management plan, you should write how the project interacts with the organization. Similarly, how the project interacts with the client, how the project in interacts with suppliers and vendors and so forth. So that leads me on to the next thing is, is your project management plan. Now your project management plan will detail all of those interactions within the project and how all those things integrate together. Not only integrate with the organization, the client and the suppliers and vendors, but how each of the nine knowledge areas is integrated together. So you can't have you know, your cost being done uh, by functional department and your schedule being done by WBS because there'll be no alignment in the way you measure progress and so forth. So within your project management plan, you need to address the integration and it's an ongoing process of looking through the project management plan and wondering and asking yourself how those things work together in a complementary manner. And finally, the project charter is a document that details the authority of the project, the scope of the project, the reporting criteria of the project, uh, and so forth. So that is a very important document to make sure that your stakeholders are signing off on your scope, your budget, your schedule, your reporting, and so forth. And that is a very key document to be walking around with, walking around your um, superiors and your stakeholders and your managers to make sure that they are fully aware and fully appraised of what the project is all about, how success on the project is going to be measured.